please. Alright, so we have here. So thumbs versus James. Thumbs versus James. Good luck. Alright, James, we get playing human. Let the guys know you're streaming. Alright, in this exciting commentary, it is Thumbs versus James McGill. Notice James McGill places his haul a little bit up. Might seem funny, but it will really pay off if Thumbs here is S9, which he is, so it's going to be much more difficult to place cannon towers, and he sees right now he has that neighbor. Will he choose to expand? No, uh, going to send his peon up to build some hidden stuff somewhere. And over here we see <coughs> James McGill has gotten the scout tower into the base of Thumbs, but Thumbs Johnny on the spot and able to disrupt that. However, the dreaded barracks blocking off Cold flow? Not really, actually. Not such a bad deal. Getting up one scout tower in order to deal with this barracks so far. Meanwhile, at the base of James McGill, one scout tower already gotten up to deal with that barracks as well. Probably going to want a second scout tower. And he's choosing to wall that off, actually. A wise plan. Doesn't want these scout tower, those grunts getting out and about in the map. It is quite possible, though, that the peasant and the grunt can force grunts to pop out on the above area. We'll have to see what happens. So one scout farm, scout tower already up, and he wants to. Uh, to ball this off. I'm not really sure what he's doing. I think he wants a footman up here. Oh, look at this. Yes, I think he wants a footman up at the top. Uh, that scout tower is up much too quickly, though. And any footman that's popped out is going to pop out at the top. So White has chosen James McGill not to expand to the 11 o'clock spot, the first place that's always watched, but instead take this risky middle expansion. So this barrack will eventually fall, unless it makes a catapult. But no catapult underway. We see that it is a total of three peons only for James McGill. Meanwhile, Thumbs has a total of six, seven now peons. So a great economy for, <laughs> for Thumbs 
in a neighbor war for it's a great economy for a neighbor war at least but James McGill has two halls so as soon as this barracks is removed and this grunt is killed James McGill will have two halls producing peons it's a devastating blow for him not to be able to use this one one of his few peons and look here actually able to stop mining temporarily but a catapult has come And the catapult will destroy that guard tower. Not a lot of peons to send down there to repair. Going to make one futile effort. But the effort was futile. And that barracks has finally fallen. So freedom for this peon, or peasant, is going to repair this. And what's his game plan then? Maybe get a couple more pe pe peasants to do some hatchet work on this guy. Here comes a catapult, going to make this base nearly impossible to mine from. Ooh, headshot. So game number one between Thumbs and James McGill, heavily in the favor of Thumbs at the moment. You've been keeping this grunt alive. Just five hit points. A few hatch hatchet blows. Who's gonna win? Fight back! Fight back! No! Down to two hit points. That one hatchet of destiny hit dealt three damage to this grunt. And the footman will finish him off with one swing of his sword. But watch out, footman. Two grunts and two catapults. This footman wants to lead them away from his base. No extra, extra footman. One footman finally on production. It's going to need a small army to deal with these catapults. Let's do a quick peon count check. 13 to 9 plus 3 grunts to 1 footman. Now would be the time to attack and kill these ballista. Can these hero footmen? Get in there and get the job done. They're going that direction. No, wrong way, hero footman. And that is that. All she wrote. All right, back in business. 
So White, still able to hold on to this uh, town hall, but sitting at a five peon to peasant deficit. Also, Thumbs has managed to expand up here to the 11 o'clock position. But what happened here? Was that a sacrificial play from the footman? It looks like it. Still sitting at 20. 20 to 16. Able to make up one. Peon to peasant difference. But tier number two already. Low ogre mound being repped. Repping that ogre mound. This looks more and more like it's going to be in the favor of our hero from Romania. His name is Thumbs. Romania, land of the most beautiful woman in the world, the best woman in the world. And GG, another victory for Thumbs. Tune in next time when I got another super awesome, excellent audio commentary brought to you in part by Budweiser, the king of Soda Pops.